Exemplum with me, David Picciuto, and today I'm going to give you a glimpse of what's in my drawers and what's behind this wall. If you're here, you probably saw my shop tour video on my other channel. If you have not seen that, go watch that. It's a fun video where we talk about all the tools. That video shows how organized I am. This video shows how disorganized I am. So we are in a garage and on the other side of this wall is a normal garage door that rides on tracks. We clip those tracks and I put in this sliding wall to hide that garage door and I have storage back here. So I'm going to open up this. This is this is this is gonna reveal all my secrets and show how messy I am. But let me show you what's going on back here. So I have these metal shelves and I gotta go through and I gotta get rid of a bunch of stuff. But uh, there's there's finishing supplies. I've got tools I haven't even tried yet. I can't wait to try port cable restore. Uh, one of these days I'm going to get to that and I want to restore some old tools with that. I don't have plumbing out here so I have this guy full of water. Um, some, some just, I got a sewing machine that I want to hook up eventually and just random stuff. A lot of this can, can go. This is meant to be for wood storage. The plan is to get all tools out of here and into the shop and into drawers where every tool has a home. I know people tell me all the time, drawers are where tools go to die. I hate that saying because I have drawers that are going to be very specific for tools. This tool goes in this drawer. Um, but it's a, it's a long process to get there. So moving on, if I slide this one down over here, we start to get into materials and wood storage. And so I got some, some brittle stuff I don't know what to do with yet. Some random wood pieces. Um, some wood from my stepfather's place. I don't know what to do with this just yet. One of these days I'm gonna flatten that down on the CNC. Uh, my brother gave me this. What's up, Dan? I can see some, some uh, what do you call that? Figure. figure. You got a nice figure yourself there, buddy. Uh, I can see some figure in there, so I don't know what to do with that, but that's got a nice little, yeah, you're right there. <laughs> don't laugh. What are you laughing at? Thick jokes. <laughs> oh, there's my goof off. That goes over there. Uh, so yeah, again, that's a mess. I got, uh, 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 every time I go to Joe and Fabrics, I get some cloth and that's down there. Sometimes I use that stuff for background stuff. Whatever, so moving on down here, more wood, uh, some plywood, short pieces, a piece of firewood. Uh, I think my brother uh, gave me that. So I do hold on to all my scraps and thinking I'm gonna do something with them someday. Somewhere in here is a pile of knots, sort of like this. I've been collecting knots for a while. I don't know what to do with them yet. But one of these days, I'm gonna take all those knots and make them into something. I might make a tabletop and it's just full of knots. So anyway, uh, yeah, so just more material storage. And then that's where the metal racks end. And then here we have bigger pieces. It's mostly plywood and long pieces left over from previous projects. It's a mess. I need to figure out what to do. I also need to insulate that wall back there because I can feel the cold air coming in. Workbench, these are the drawers. I keep all my clamps in these three drawers right here. And they open up from both sides. So if I'm on this side, they do open this way. They just slide, it's wood on wood contact with some wax in there that has worked just fine. These four drawers, so we got, we got hammers and cutting tools. We've got screwdrivers and squares. This goes down there. This is my drill bit drawer. And then finally, my screw drawer. I've been 3D printing these little boxes. I've got a lot more to make to organize that. Down below there is an air compressor that I use for air compressing my mobile cart. And down here, this is kind of like the Craig drawer. All my, my K5 and pocket hole accessories are in this drawer. We got that, that, that foam, the Kaizen, Kaizen, Kaizen foam. 
Um, so everything has a home, but Dan didn't put everything away properly. By Dan, I mean me. This next drawer, this is all hand tools. So I got my, my chisels in here, got some carving gouges, my hand planes. Uh, just got this beauty, this Lee Nielsen block plane. Yeah, isn't that shiny and new? Um, some, some dovetailing tools and some spoke shaves. Oh, this, act, this is actually a scraper, not a spoke shave. This one is a spoke shave. I'm gonna get into more hand tool work. This is a, we'll call this a consumables drawer. It is just a mess of things that you have to, just, just things, consumable things. Brushes, these little bamboo sticks are great for stirring things up, but that's just a mess. That's just a kind of a random drawer. You go back in here. On the other side of this guy, This drawer is all glues and tapes. So duct tape, aluminum tape, glue, spray adhesives, things to make things stick to other things. Above that is my sandpaper drawer. That could use some work. And then above that is my saw drawer, all different hand saws. that is somewhat organized and somewhat disorganized. Over here, this is my hand power tool drawer. Anything with a cord on it goes in this deep drawer. Iron, belt sander, angle, grinder, what do you call that? Okay. Circular saw, track saw, that's that drawer. Above that is just kind of a, a whatever type drawer. So we got drawer slides and then these little coffee cans full of hinges and whatnot above that. I still haven't installed drawer handles. More clamps that I don't need very often so they're not over at the bench. And then this top one is kind of like another catch-all for like mechanics tools, tools I don't need very often. Wrenches, um, hacksaw, just random things that doesn't need to be organized. It, it's non-woodworking tools in there. And here is my dust collector. You'll see the, the bag right there. And then some of my jigs for the table saw, they're just kind of stacked up in there. Nothing special. Above that, this is all table saw accessories. So I got my segment cutting jigs, a um, bunch of these micro jig dovetail clamps, uh, throat plate inserts, Breaks for the saw stop, extra blades, specialty blades. I keep all there. So this is just table saw accessories. Come on now. So the router and router lift is right here. So this drawer is U-shaped and works around that and the dust collection in there. So I pulled this out. I've got router bits on one side. I'm supposed to make a lip here so these things don't fall, but they don't fall anyway. So. Things are just kind of thrown in here. Router accessories in this drawer. This is embarrassing, but just other routers in there, uh, just kind of thrown about. Like this router bit, that doesn't go in there. And whatevs, whatevs. Here at the sanding station, uh, this is just a drawer for various sandpapers for the sanding station. Um, just random, random stuff. Things that belong over here are over here. Down below here is just another dust collector. There's no, nothing, oh God, don't even look in there. It's the dust collector for that guy. This drawer over here, it's pretty much empty. It does have this picture of Dan. Hi Dan. Um, I don't know what goes in that drawer yet. And then down here is just random, a dust collection fittings and stuff. Not sure what to do with that just yet. We're working on things, we're working on things. Is that it for the drawers? That's all my drawers. So, that's a little, okay, okay. Dan's pointing over here, the Apple box. This is the, the camera accessories drawer. 
We made this a while ago. Um, we got this sliding top here just to get to various lenses and camera accessories. We got some ND filters for when we head outside. Um, there's some specialty toy lenses to get some cool shots. Uh, this GoPro, which I don't like this GoPro because the sound on there is hideous. Come on, GoPro. But uh, that's Dan's drawer. That is it. That's a little behind the scenes of my shop. If you haven't seen it already, go check out the shop tour where we talk about all the tools. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.